Hi guys. Well, as you can see, we're at Perth International Airport. Can't see that it's Perth, but I'm telling you it is. So finally on the way back, it's been... I've been hanging out to go back, so back to Thailand. So um, heading off today. Be in Bangkok in about six and a half hours and stay overnight. And then from there, um, early tomorrow morning, I fly out to Ribbon Rajasthani. From there, that's about an hour flight. And uh, from there, I'll, I'll be picked up by the lady, by Talani. If that doesn't work out, if something interrupts that, then I'll just get a minibus or taxi or, or some form of transport up to Long Nok Tahar and uh, we'll take care of that. No big deal. We're on our way now, so next time you see me, I'll probably be in Bangkok. And then after that, I'll be flying out. So uh, I'll put that all together in this video and let's have a look at where we're going, what we're doing. Thanks, guys. Well, we made it to Bangkok. I just got to the hotel from Surnabhumi Airport. It's now about five, so it wasn't bad running. We got to Surnabhumi at three and uh, it wasn't too busy coming through immigration. That was reasonably quick. It took a little while to settle down and uh, find a taxi and come out and get to the hotel. So I'm here overnight, but uh, back to the airport and uh, earlier in the morning and I'll be off to Urban Ratchatani. From there, we'll be driving north about 120, 130 kilometres to to home. Mem will come with a friend and uh, somebody who drives, Mem doesn't drive. They'll drive the Vigo, the Toyota Vigo down and pick me up in Ubon around 8am or thereabouts. So I'll talk to you then. <laughs> we'll catch you guys. กายมันเปิดไฟมันออกมาน้ำหนังอะไรบางไรไม่ได้กัดกัดบ่ท่านอีสาวร้อยพี่เตี้ยวซ้ายก่อนเตี้ยวพี่กายนี่ก่อนเ
We're pretty black over there. We've had a bit of thunder. Last night we had a little bit of lightning, but nothing became of it. And I'm just getting a couple of sprinkles of rain on me at the moment. Like sprinkles, yeah, one every few seconds, so not a lot. But here we are on the road, everything's growing. When I left, we had a big row of trees here. And you think, okay, what's the difference? Well, a month after I left, the guy came through and he sold all of these trees and they cut them off at ground level. Obviously not the extra large ones, but all of these eucalyptus along here, which are now five, six meters tall, some a lot more, have grown in that period of time, less than six months. It is amazing how things grow. And for you guys that are from Australia, you know these trees, you know eucalypts, yeah, like this guy here. You know how quickly they grow in Australia? Maybe that much in about six years. <laughs> Amazing. So, if we turn around here, here we have the mystery project come probably restaurant, but that's still undecided. I'm afraid that's a little bit of a standstill at the moment because um, requires money to complete it and so I have to wait for that to become available um, that's just the way it is all out here Tony did have flowers growing in the period that I was away um, they're all finished now and she's chopped them down and there will be Something more go in there, not long. I, I think she'll put another crop in there. But um, there's the toilet and shower block. Uh, there's a, <laughs> you might call it a garden setting, but they're common everywhere in restaurants and all sorts of function places. In home, we've got one of those, but I think we need probably half a dozen more outside. All the walls painted, we saw that in videos. Concrete's here, had a lot of rain, and as I say, we're still in rainy season. The dams are full, the rice paddies are full, the rice is growing. And a sad little old coffee shop here has got a bit of a list on it. It's got one leg on firm footing, and the other three are on some pretty soft ground since the, uh, the dam is come up to meet it. We'll have to do something there, but uh, that'll need some compacted ground, some concrete, maybe some micro piles or something in there to stabilize it before we can put any more there. Everything's growing up to meet the house. I say house, I should say building. More of the dam. Water, water everywhere but I don't think I want to drink. <laughs> um, I haven't got the key in my pocket, so I can't take it inside here, but as you can see inside, where all the floors are tiled, it's been painted out. Uh, the kitchen is, is there. We'll, I'll do a video on a full walk around on that shortly. But um, out here, we have the pathway going to the house. Now the water level has dropped, but previously that was fully underwater, uh, only a few days ago. So that's settling. Um, that'll need some more fill, and I might even put a put a, calf, a concrete pathway on top of that. Lots of cutting to do, but it ain't going to happen until this water level drops. Our inland sea. As you've seen in some of the earlier videos, well, take a look at that over there. There's plenty of water there. We got quite an inland sea is the term for it. Lots of water. Just going around the border here. There's these 
shower and toilet block. Um, still some work to do. As the funds become available, um, I don't have a working income because I'm retired. And uh, yes, living on a pension and some savings. I'm not flash room money, guys. But I decided that I wasn't going to sit around in a chair once I was tired, sitting in Australia by myself doing nothing. This is the life I want. This is the life I've been working towards for when I retire. And this is the place I'm going to be. Hello, high water. I've got to try and make it work. So, yeah, it's not all beer and Skittles. Yeah, it, it takes money, but not big money. But it does help to have a regular income. So I'll have to address that somehow and see what I can do from, from here. But, um, yeah, it's a case of making it work. And the place I intend to make it work is here. This is my home. This is a place, my happy place. And with all the projects that you've seen before, obviously we're building towards something. And uh, that something is really to retire here, guys. So, yeah. Arrived here a couple of days ago, as you'll see in the opening of this video. Been settling in. We've had a bit of rain. Um, I've been around and reacquainted myself with a, a few of the people I know and the people in the market. And generally just getting myself sort of back into the groove of being here, living in this environment. And <laughs> it may sound like I'm making a big thing out of it, but it is a very different feeling. Uh, it's my happy place, as I've said, and where you live, how you live, is very, very much about how you see the world around you. And this is a different world compared to the one I normally experience in Australia. And um, you have to adjust. I'm not saying adjust in a bad way. I'm just say, saying you have to sort of change gears and get your head. I don't know how to explain this. Um, you have to integrate yourself back into a different lifestyle. And that's what we're doing. So settling down, settling in, that's enough of looking at me. All the rice fields are green as far as you can see. Everything growing incredibly. I'm just going to grab this stick and take it out of the way because it's a problem. For cars going past, we did that. That won't be a problem. When it's the, uh, the rainy season, Things grow like mad. And though we've got a nice bitumen road here, which a lot of people don't have, they've really got dirt tracks going out to their farms. Um, the, all the verges grow and that extra bit of width in the road that you used to have, if you were passing another car or you had a truck or something that you have to uh, make way for, you could use that. But in this period, those verges get overgrown. Sure, it's only grass, but you can't see what's there. So you are reluctant to go too far over the edge in case you hit a soft patch or something hidden in the grass. So in wet season, things are a little bit different, how you negotiate the road close to the farm. We'll wander back over here. Talony's done some cutting so that she can walk through the the raised areas, the raised walkways, so that she can get around and have a look at the um, 
rice and see how it's going. Yesterday we bought a number of bags of fertilizer and we paid a guy to come in and walk through the rice and distribute those. So they've had a feed. That fertilizer will go into solution and settle in all around the rice. So you don't have to be too sort of, um, how do you say, perfect with how you spread it and disperse it. And so that's been done. That'll give it a, a good growth spell going towards creating heads of rice on the, on the crop. But um, the past few days that I've been back, Talony has been fishing. And what that means is she's got lots of little sticks poking up out of the walkways throughout the rice um, with hooks on the end. Um, Some place where the water's flowing, she's got uh, fish traps and it's been full on. It's been fish, fish, fish. <laughs> For me, I get a bit of variety, but she'll have all sorts of fish. She'll have it barbecued, she'll have it stewed, she'll have it in many different ways and if you've got a farm and in rural thailand fish is a freebie like in a community and culture where there's a low um how do you say income and a lot of people they're not on the bread line but you know they, they take very much care of their income and their money if you've got a farm and there's free fish going, then you eat the fish. <laughs> it's free food, something you don't have to buy. And then they have a bit of freedom that a little bit more disposable income for some of the other things that they've been wanting but haven't been able to afford because of um, you know, lack of funds. Or if they're not buying a big quantity of food because they've got free fish around the place, well, that's the way it works. Uh, sounds pretty simple and pretty basic, but it's pretty real. And we're down at the corner. So we're at the back border of Mem's farm. That's the road coming in. And it does a 90 degree turn here. And for those that you've seen haven't seen the previous videos. This is the back border going straight out that way. Rice all the way down here. If you can see that blue netting, that is to stop and catch fish. So stop them going over into the next paddy field. Every day she'll walk and she'll check those for fish. As you can see, a lot of growth here. It's a real tangled jungle. And I'll get into that. I'll be doing some cutting. I'll probably do that first because the other areas that I can't cut uh, underwater. And so we'll give that it'll probably only be a couple of weeks before I can start cutting some of those areas. It's really beautiful here, guys. Um, some dark clouds. And some big, beautiful, what do you call them? Serious clouds? Cumulus clouds? Cumulus, they're the big fluffy ones, aren't they? And, of course, there's bananas. Only small here. But they're there. Bananas come consistently all the time you can see a area of water there running along the side and along the back there's a thing called a clong it's a meter deep channel and that water goes all the way down to the big dam so there's fish in those there's fish in the flooded fields too as the fields dry out, the fish will go into the clong and then they'll end up working their way as it dries further and further. Somebody on the road just passed me. Um, we'll have another feed and another catch of fish. 
It's a cycle, repeats itself every year. This shouldn't be too hard to, to cut along here. I'll stay away from the blue plastic. Again, when it rains and the water overflows, the fish like to go walking, predominantly the catfish, and they'll come out and they'll be across the road. As the water goes across the road, they'll go with it. It's quite a, how do you say, a surprising thing to see. I'd never seen it before coming to Thailand, to the rural Thailand. With a break in the fence where Talony walks through. I'll wait a little bit before I start doing that sort of caper. She's super confident. She'll go out at 11 or 12 o'clock at night and she'll be walking those walkways through the rice. She'll have her headlight on, head mounted light, LED. And she'll head off in her boots or her willies. And she'll go and check the fish. She'll do that a couple of times a day. She's off doing that right now. Otherwise, I'd get her to say hello to you. But um, she's out there somewhere, guys. I'm not quite sure where. There's the big dam. Chock a block full. Plenty of water. I'm sure there's lots of fish in there. She's not worried about those ones. She's worried about the ones that could get away. And there's Taxi, the dog. The puppy that was only ankle high is now a monster. Huh? Eats everything. Ah! Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Go on. Bye, bye, bye. Beautiful out here, guys. I'm back in my place. This is my home. This is where I live. Have another house in town. This is the the shack, the workhouse we bought, we built here. It ended up being a lot more than that. By Western standards, it's a, a cottage or a shanty, but um, it's comfortable. Keeps the elements out and different to a lot of societies. We built these, you know, four, five bedroom, two, three bathroom places and uh, have a bedroom for every person and whatever that's not the cultural history of Thailand you know like a private space or a bedroom is it's it's a foreign concept because it comes from overseas but it is quite common that families and groups um, will actually just throw out sleeping mats on the floor and, and sleep in a commun communal area the advent of sort of bedrooms and things is a Western thing. Um, sure, a lot of people in Bangkok and uh, places like that uh, are moving towards that vein, but generally in the rural communities, um, it's not set in stone that that's the way things are. But um, this does us just fine, and we spend all of our time here now. We don't really spend very many nights in the house in, in town because we're here. Um, you get up in the morning, there's things you want to do. You want to go mem or want, want to go and check the fish again. Or I uh, want to do some cutting or, or, or so many things. They're all centered around taking care of this farm, this property. So rather than having to pack up in town and come out and take everything you want with you, well, it's already here, um, and so why shouldn't we be? It's quite warm. I can hear somebody. Hello, young lady. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> you come back. You get the fish. Okay. And we have some pork here we can cut up and make soon. Going to have a late lunch. Say hello, everybody. Hello. 
<laughs> okay. So what did I do this morning? I actually got up a bit late and um, started off. Then went out, she had some flowers to take to somebody who placed an order. And so I washed the Vigo. The road coming here, beyond the bit you've seen, is a bit broken up and pretty dirty and grubby, so the cars get filthy quickly. Lots of potholes, lots of water. So I gave the Vigo, Toyota Vigo, a bath. And while I had the bucket of water, I thought, well, heck, we'll do the Suzuki, what do we call it? Carry, I think is the name for it. Yeah, Suzuki Carry. And that's what um, we use to transport the flyers around. And the back just fits inside the carport. <laughs> yeah, I know. How many? Three, four inches? So that got a bath. And so did Mem's motorcycle. I did that afterwards. What the heck? So that's where we're at at the moment, guys. Um, I'll be posting more regularly. I have plenty of content I can do from here and I can keep you informed on how life is for a Western guy in, in far east rural Thailand. So thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you in the next video. Please leave some comments, leave some questions. I would be very happy to answer questions on anything that I've shown you that maybe I haven't explained or spoken about in depth in an aspect that might be of interest to you. I think that's the best way to say it. And uh, love to hear your comments. Please give us a like, subscribe and you'll get the rest of the videos as they come through. And obviously you'll, you'll see our channel and the previous videos we've done. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.